All right, we are back on the record in 2023 CR 33, State of Kansas versus Celtic Storm Waddell. Jared Regeer appearing for the state, defendant here in person and pro se. Now, why were you late, Mr. Waddell? Um, well, last time that uh, I had, um, I did show up on time, but- No, we're not talking I, about last time. I, okay. Well, um, I late just had- today? You've got a warrant out for your arrest because you failed to appear this morning. Yeah, why didn't you call, why didn't you answer when I called your name? Why weren't you here? Um, I thought it would be okay to to log in a little late because the last time I didn't get called until like 1.30 in the afternoon. So it was just a grave misunderstanding. I sincerely apologize. I would, if I would have, known um you know had a better understanding of that i would have been here at nine i apologize i genuinely apologize your bond set at six thousand cash or surety Which what does that mean that means when you're surrendered to the sheriff, you stay in jail unless you give a bondsman uh, whatever he needs to support a $6,000 bond. Okay. So you're saying I have to go back to jail? Well, that's generally what happens when you don't come to court when you're supposed to. I, Mr. I thought Rainier. it was a... I thought it was a... okay. Hang on, Mr. Regeer. Do you have any objection to me setting aside the warrant this once? Uh, Your Honor, uh, respectfully, I think I'll defer to the court on that one. It looks like this is the third hearing we've had in this matter. Um, and it looks like the defendant did appear on those previous bonds, but um, I don't think I'm in a position to take a position one way or the other. And I'll defer to the court on that one. All right. Mr. Waddell, am I pronouncing it right? Is it Waddell? How yes, it's Waddell. Waddell. Waddell, yeah. Okay. Do you understand now that when they say nine o'clock, they mean nine o'clock when they tell you to appear? I do. I do. Okay. I Even if it's a do. docket. Even if it's a docket. Okay, I will set aside the bond forfeiture so your bondsman and you won't lose your money for the first bond. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. And I will set aside the bench warrant so you won't have to post a new bond of 6000 Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, what are we going to do about this possession of marijuana and possession of drug paraphernalia? Do you, are you going to... Apply for, well, you told me, okay. You told me you were going to apply for diversion, I think twice now. You haven't done that yet, have you? No, the first time um, it was just to set the court date for the time. And then the last, I also had, I work nights. And like I said, I didn't get called till 1.30 in the afternoon. So I was very tired. I had a very mis big misunderstanding of how that whole process worked. Now I called on Friday. I have a, I genuinely understand how it all works. Um, and so like, I am going to genuinely apply. She told me to call tomorrow since I do work nights. She didn't want me to call right after this. Uh, so she told me to call tomorrow. Um, and I, I'm getting that all taken care of. Okay. So what you're doing is asking me to set this over because you want to apply for diversion, which is what you told me in March mm -hmm. and you didn't do. I didn't, I didn't know that I only had 10 days and a lot of things happened and I, okay. I just gonna, had a deep misunderstanding of everything. I'm going to give you another chance, but let's not have any more misunderstandings. They're on, I'll get it taken care of and you won't see it again. All right, August 14th, 9 a.m., You have to be back here unless you and Miss Cool get that diversion worked out and she tells you otherwise. 
There is okay. a good chance that you could I get very that, much. that and not have to see me again. And I don't think she, really she told me she, she told me that she didn't have a problem with it. All right. On. Okay. So what time? Are you, when's your next court night? August 14th at 9 a.m. Okay. What are you going to do when we're through here? I will probably go to bed, but I will be going to call her tomorrow like she asked me to. Good answer. Okay. Anything else, Mr. Regeer? Uh, Your Honor, I do have a um, note in the file. It would appear that the um, defendant did call the diversion coordinator uh, last Friday on the 19th. Um, it looks like um, a drug and alcohol evaluation will be necessary in this particular case. So uh, I would respectfully suggest it would behoove um, everyone involved to get the ball rolling on that as soon as possible. Um, I do find it somewhat troubling that the defendant apparently had suggested he didn't realize he was to contact the diversion coordinator about diversion. But um, if the, but all other things being equal, I suppose if the court is prepared to set it over to the August 14th date, the state has no objections. Yeah, I have some questions about some of these things too, but you go ahead and I'll give you this other, this redo, but it's probably the last redo you'll ever get in court. And your honor, um, if and in the event that that um, that the proper um, that the proper hurdles are not jumped through by the next hearing date, I will be looking at this matter much more closely. And do not do drugs. Okay, you may go, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, now I've had to.